restrictions were lifted, games were played, and champions were crowned. The spring sports season is in the books and things are starting to feel a lot more normal around here. Hello everyone, my name is Ted Brennan and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we wrap up the 2021 spring sports season. After losing just once in the regular season, an overtime thriller to Brunswick, the boys lacrosse team earned the number one seed in the SDAC tournament. The Blue Wave held serve, capturing its 19th conference title with a dominating performance against Staples in the finals. However, Darien's state run ended earlier than expected as the top-seeded Wave lost to Fairfield Prep in the Class L quarterfinals. The girls lacrosse team, meanwhile, finished its regular season with only two losses, both to New Canaan. The Rams beat Darien again in the FCAC championship, but it was a different story in the playoffs as the Blue Wave beat New Canaan in the Class L semifinals en route to their 11th state championship since 2007. From the lacrosse field to the diamond, we now throw it down to Trey Cahill with wrap-ups on the baseball and softball seasons. Trey. Thanks, Ted. The baseball team struggled out of the gate this year, but finished on a high note. The Wave began the season 4-13. However, because of the expanded format, they made it to the FCAC tournament. Darian upset Staples and West Hill before ultimately losing in the conference semifinals to the eventual champ, Fairfield Ward. As for the softball team, they won 10 games during the regular season. Darian won a game in the conference playoffs and state playoffs. It was a season to build on for both baseball and softball teams this year. Thanks, Ted. Back to you. Thanks, Trey. To say that the boys' volleyball team was dominant would be an understatement. The Wave only dropped two sets during the entire regular season. They went 17-0, then won the FCAC tournament, beating rival New Canaan in the finals. They beat Enfield to win the Class L state championship and capped off a true undefeated season. The boys tennis team came into the season as the defending FCAC and Class L state champs, and they didn't disappoint as they defended both championships. Darian beat Staples in the conference finals and then knocked off Wilton 4-2 in the state finals. The girls tennis team earned the number one seed in the FCAC tournament after a 14-1 regular season. The Wave won the FCAC championship but lost in the quarterfinals of the class double L state tournament. What a year for Darian on the tennis courts. The boys track and field team had a successful season going 6-1 with the one loss being a close one against Wilton. In FCX, they finished 8th as a team with multiple top 10 finishes for multiple athletes in individual events. As for the girls track and field team, they went undefeated in all 8 dual meets and had multiple top finishes at the FCX and State Class L Championships. They were named FCX East Champions this season. The Darien rugby team went 4-1 this season with the one loss coming against perennial powerhouse Greenwich. They made significant strides not only in numbers, but also in quality of play as they look to continue their momentum into next season. The boys golf team went 11-3-1 this season, including a big time win over top ranked Fairfield Prep. Darian finished third at FCX and fourth in the CIAC tournament. As for the girls golf team, they went 3-12 this season, beating Danbury, Wilton, and Fairfield Ward. The girls competed in the Division I state tournament in the CIAC as the 14th seed. The sailing team had another successful season on the water. As I wrap up my final DAF Media special, I'd like to say how grateful I am to have had the opportunity to grow alongside DAF Media. As DAF Media got bigger and better, I was lucky enough to come along for the ride. I'd like to thank everyone who's had an impact on not only me, but DAF Media, including but not limited to Bruce Ferguson, our tech wizard, Damian Andrew, my mentor and my friend. Without them, none of this would be possible the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation, because without them, there was no DAF media program to start. And to you, the viewers at home, because without you guys, I'd be broadcasting to no one. So thank you everyone who supported not only me, but DAF media. Stay safe, have a great night, and I'm Ted Brennan signing off.